How about the Mike? How about the George? How about that? Right about there? That'll do it? That's about right then. That's why I do it at the radio station. Okay, that's only two go. You're good. I'm good to go? You're good to go. <laughs> that's what... That, Yeah, the mic all right, Mike? Well, anyway, good evening to everybody. It's nice to be back down here in uh, where we're at uh, this time, uh, McKinnon. This is that school I, that I got lost on my radio program. I said nobody could find it. So anyway, we found it, and it's good to be back with you, but... Uh, You gonna take? You want me to smile? Not, not if I don't. If I. <laughs> anyway, I got uh, uh, my uh, nephew come in from uh, over in Afghanistan this week, and uh, really glad to have him back home. But uh, had a problem. We, he, they live back down in them hills around Buena Vista and Huntington down there where we lived at, and uh, he come home the other day and. My uncle asked him, said, uh, where you been for the last year and a half? He said, uh, I sent you to the mailbox. Oh, he said, I went to the mailbox, and he said, uh, I didn't know that we had an Uncle Sam, and he said he was big sign on the mailbox, said, Uncle Sam wants you. So he said, I went into Buny to find out what Uncle Sam wanted, and he said, they sent me off to a war over in uh, Afghanistan. He said, well, who's a winning? He said, we are. He said, really? He said, yeah. He said, what are we winning with? He said, oh, so they got airplanes and tanks and big old guns and, he said, and hand grenades. My uncle said, now, wait a minute, boy. He said, I heard of airplanes and tanks and them big guns, but he said, a hand grenade? What is that? Well, they live back, like I said, way down in them old woods and a log cabin and everything. And he said, well, I stole some and said, I brought one home here. He said, I want to show you what a hand grenade is. And he took him around back of the old log cabin. Well, they was, they're rich people. They got one of them doubles, you know, with the moon on the door back down on the hillside a little ways. And uh, he said, now you watch this here. And he pulled that pin and he throwed it and hit a tree ricocheted and it went right up against this double doored outhouse. And it went off. Boom! And the mess just flew. Grandma come out waving her hand and apron said, boy, I'm glad I didn't let that one in the house. <laughs> I better, better quit that. Anyway, once again, we appreciate it. And uh, I have a lot of people that's mentioning, uh, that I have mentioned to me that they're seeing me on television all the time. And I finally realized it's coming from him. So, anyway, we appreciate it, Mike. We really do. Anyway, we'll try a Jim Ed Brown song, see what you think about it. Pop a top again. I think I'll have another round. Set them up, my friend. Then I'll be gone and you can let some other fool sit down. I'd like for you to listen to a joke I heard today From a woman who said we were through and calmly walked away I tried to smile and did a while, but it felt so out of place did you ever hear of a clown with teardrops streaming down his face? Pop a top again. I think I'll have another round. Set him up, my friend. Then I'll be gone and you can let some other fool sit down. Home to me is misery, and here I'm wasting time. Cause a row of fools on a row of stools is something on my mind. But then you see her leaving me is not what I prefer. 
So it's either here drinking beer or home remembering her. Pop a top again. I think I'll have another round. Set them up, my friend. Then I'll be gone and you can let some other fool sit down. Jimmy Brown. A good friend of mine, him and I did a few shows together some years back when we were both young and good looking. And most of you see I brought my wife again tonight. And, uh, oh, she got, <laughs> she got in trouble yesterday with the state police driving down the road. And this state police seen her go by. And she is sitting there guiding the car with her knee and knitting. This state trooper come back up the other side of the highway, caught her, run up beside her, lights on, siren going, and she's knitting and not paying him no attention at all. Finally, he's trying to get her attention and he run his window down with a bullhorn and he yelled through and he said, pull over. She said, no, it's a scarf. <laughs> See if you remember this old song. Last night, all alone in a ballroom, met a girl with a drink in her hand. She had ruby red lips, long dark hair, and eyes that would tempt any man. Then she came and sat down at my table And as I placed her soft hand in mine I felt her heart start beating And I... <laughs> I was almost persuaded to push myself aside, almost persuaded to push my conscience aside. Then we danced, and she whispered, I need you. Take me away from here and be my man. Then I looked into her eyes, and I saw it, the reflection of my wedding band. And I was almost persuaded to push my conscience aside. Almost persuaded, but your sweet love made me stop and go home. I got the last half of it right, didn't I? Well, we've all done that before. I'm going to try this one. I've got a sad, sad story, friend, that I don't like to tell. I had a home and family when they locked me in this cell. Well, I've been in here for 18 years, a long, long time, I know. 
But time don't mean a thing to me Cause I've got life to go Well, I went one night through the lights were bright To see what I could see I met up with an old friend there Who thought the world of me Well, he bought me drinks and took me to every honky-tonk in town Then words were said, and now he's dead I just had to cut him down Well, it's been a long, long time now Since I heard from my wife I know I'd be there with her yet If I hadn't used a knife I'll bet that little girl of mine Don't realize or know Her daddy's been here 18 years And still got a life to go I'll bet there's not a man outside who spent this long in jail. I'll be here in this prison till my body's just a shell. No, I can be free to go and see the one that I love so. I've been in here for 18 years and still got a life to go. I've been in here for 18 years and still got a life to go. Thank you. Stonewall Jackson there. What? Stonewall Jackson, yeah. Ah, good water. Oh, I got to, <laughs> my sister from up north came down, a blonde. I got two sisters, both of them are blonde. And the other day, they was working on a home, a habitat for homeless people. My baby sister, Bonnie, the blonde, was on the wall putting the siding on. And she'd reach in her pouch and pull out one of them big, long tacks, and she'd look at it. And if the head was turned toward the ceiling, she'd throw it on, or the wall, she'd throw it on the floor and pull out another one to the point, and she'd drive it in. And my other sister, Frances, the other blonde, come around from the other side of the house and was standing there watching Bonnie, and Bonnie pull out one. The head of it was looking toward the wall, and she'd throw it on the ground, get another one, point toward the wall, she'd drive it in. Frances said, what are you doing? She said, some of these tacks here, are, or nails, are actually backwards. The head's on the wrong end. My other sister said, you stupid blonde. She said, them's for the other side of the house. <laughs> Take the ribbon from your hair Shake it loose, let it fall Lay it soft against my skin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning light All I'm taking is your time Help me make it through the night Well, I don't care if it's right or wrong I won't try to understand Let the devil take tomorrow Cause tonight I need a friend Yesterday you're dead and gone 
and tomorrow's out of sight and it's sad to be alone help me make it through the night I don't want to be alone help me make it through the night Thank you. Where did the boss man go? How much longer you want me up here, cowboy? Till I got started getting booed? He's out. That figures. <laughs> but I'm praying. For rain in California So the grapes will grow and they can make more wine Well I'm sitting in a honky tonk in Chicago With a broken heart and a woman on my mind I flip the man behind the bar for the jukebox and the music takes me back to Tennessee and the people ask to the pool in the corner crying and I say that little old wine drinker me well I came here last week from down in Nashville Cause my baby left for Florida on a train Well I thought I'd get a job and just forget her But in Chicago a broken heart's still the same I flipped the man behind the bar for the jukebox And the music takes me back to Tennessee and the people ask to the fool in the corner crying and I say that little old wine drinker me and I say that little old wine drinker me you never believe who did that. I was still disc jockeying in St. Louis on KXN at 50,000 watt. That was Robert Mitchum from Hollywood did that. That's who did it. Just a bit of tidbit of information there that you can throw out if you don't want it, you know. I don't hurt anymore. All my teardrops are dry No more walking the floor With that burning inside Just to think it could be Time has opened the door And at last I am free I don't hurt anymore used to deny I wanted to die the day you said we were through but now that I find you're out of my mind I can't believe that it's true I've forgotten somehow that I hurt so before and it's wonderful now I don't hurt anymore. Oh, he was quite a singer, wasn't he? I wish I could do a good job. He got paid, I don't. I'm so poor, can't even pay attention. That's true, lady. I mean, you know you're married to me. <laughs> now she says I'm a tight one.
I don't love you anymore Not the way I did before And since you found somebody new I guess it's best I don't cry and walk the floor I don't love you anymore Trouble is I don't love you any less I don't love you anymore For I've got no love to give You drain my heart of all its love With every sweet caress I keep saying over and over I don't love you anymore Trouble is I don't love you any less Held you close to me one time Kissed your lips, called you mine Then another came and thrilled you with his touch I cried as you walked out the door I don't love you anymore Trouble is I don't love you any less That's the truth I don't love you any less What do you think about it? You ready? He's not even talking to me tonight. You want me to do another one or two or five? One more? Okay, I won't even bother taking a drink of water then. I don't even... I... <laughs> Well, I do this. Your cheating heart will make you weak. You cry and cry and try to sleep, but sleep won't come the whole night through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. When tears come down Like falling rain You'll toss around And call my name You walk the floor The way I do Your cheating heart Will tell on you your cheating heart will pine someday And crave the love you threw away The time will come when you'll be blue Your cheating heart will tell on you When tears come down Your cheating heart will tell on you. Thank you so much. Well, that was the famous Bill Rainey. Y'all give him one more hand. Bill, thank you. All musicians, available musicians, can come forward now. All musicians and singers. 
Sang Sangers. started here or after we've gotten started I should say that uh, welcome to McKinnon Community Center and uh, we meet on the second Saturday night of the month over here on the far right that just sang was Bob Hodge the riverboat captain yes. <laughs> right behind me what would you be known as <laughs> The, the, bump, the Bumpus Mills mayor? Anyways, this is Dan Wallace. He's well known in this part. Just about anywhere you go. And we have a visitor tonight that uh, he plays the piano and the harmonica and he was gracious enough to come take a little time out of his rest. He works six, 12 hour days, so this is a night of rest for him. But anyway, we appreciate John Hassel. And the rest of them are sick with the flu. So we got several musicians sick tonight. So 
Anyway, here we go. Oh, I'm Otis Campbell. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, I had a man one time fill out a receipt for me, a bricklayer. He gave me his receipt and gave it all to me, and I, I looked it over, and I looked at the top of it. It said, Otis Campbell. I said, did you mean to do this? And he goes, what? I said, you've been watching too much Andy Griffin. <laughs> but uh, Kelly, Otis Kelly, how about that? <laughs> D's and A's and G's and C's. That's, that's country. Like a bird that's lost in made in line. I'm alone and oh so blue tonight. Like a piece of drift on the sea. some Christmas songs and you tell them what you told me. I said, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
handicapped up here. We don't have a bass <coughs> player. But I heard the piano player trying to make a bass out of that stuff over there. It sounded pretty good. He was hitting some bass notes. <laughs>
from last night Be my good gal had gone Well, I woke up this morning She really had done me wrong Well, I know it ain't fair But my good gal, she done cold hair
can't do it like I did the last time. I'll play the banjo with him on the table. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, now, now we're having fun. <laughs> we got the piano rocking and got everybody smiling. Now, I saw somebody out there singing the words of that song. I did not realize it had words. Uh, all of it. Oh, yeah. So maybe, maybe we ought to get you to come up and do a version of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> really, I didn't know it. Most songs do. <laughs> That's the cameraman's wife we're picking on, by the way, folks. She was singing the words to that instrumental, and we were just kind of wondering what they were. <laughs> How about to do the jingle bells? You're going to sing it? We all can do a. We can't. We can all play a lick on it. Give it all under his lap. Okay. But you got to sing the lead. No. And then you're laying off one out of my life. That's going to be no. Do you know jingle bells, Bob? Jingle bell, Bob. Bob, they were on jingle bells. <laughs> Only thing is Bob did not get the bell to do Of you want to be daring and come up and sing Jingle Bells while we play it? Seriously, because nobody, nobody up here knows the words to it all. We probably pick them up, but they won't be able, they won't be able to hear them out there if you don't come up here. So, and seriously, no fun is coming forward. You got one second, and out everybody one time. <laughs> all right, we'll just play it.
kind of song is not going to buy it. Uh, I said prayer. <laughs> it's all right. I don't think anybody's going to pick it apart. <laughs> Did any of y'all notice any mistakes we've made? I didn't think so. Somebody's uh, it's pointing. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't do that. Nobody knows that up here. Yeah, I don't even know whether I know it or not. Hey, Dan knows lots of unusual named songs. They're back here naming songs off they want to hear. Well, let me tell you some names of songs that, that, that Dan knows. And it's funny that these are all uh, ironically different. One's called uh, uh, Rattlesnake Bit the Baby. Spider Bit the Baby. And uh, what, what was that? Sopping the Gravy. Oh, well, we know lots of more country songs like that. Sopping the Gravy. There's a neat one called Methodist Preacher. Yep, the best one, Shucking the Corn. Shucking the Corn. Well, we could do that one. What about Footprints in the Snow? Yeah, how about it? Go for it. There you go.
I already did, but I'll do it again. Oh, okay. Mike wants me to introduce everybody to you kind folks out there in Houston County mostly. Probably some in Dixon, some in Stewart, maybe. Am I right? Maybe in some in Humphreys. I don't know how far the TEC line stretches from Channel 12. But anyway, over here is Bob Hodge, the riverboat captain. Still works, by the way, at 83. God bless you. Thank you, sir. And uh, over here is Dan Wallace. He's the mayor of Bumpus Mills. If you ever get a ticket in Bumpus Mills, just tell them you know Dan Wallace. They'll rip that ticket right up. And the reason is, is the sheriff goes up to his uncle's house every morning and brings him the paper after he's eat breakfast, and then he carries the sheriff back home. <laughs> and uh, so... Um, and his name is Bill Walker. They named a bridge after the sheriff. It's Bill Walker Bridge right there in Bumpus Mills. So if you ever get in trouble in Bumpus Mills, tell them you know Dan Wallace, the fiddle player, and you know the sheriff uh, of, of Bumpus Mills. And, and you, uh, John Hassel over here, who has uh, come to us tonight, the special, we appreciate it. Uh, playing the piano and the harmonica, and there's no telling what else he can do. He's kind of quiet about it. But did you just hear what he said? He said he was going to write all that down in case he got in trouble in Bumps Mills. <laughs> now, folks, I'm not making that up. Dan's, uh, uh, the, the, the sheriff really does go up to Dan's uncle's house every morning, and uh, Dan's uncle carries him home. But if you've never been to Bumps Mills, at least you ought to go over and meet Bill Walker. <laughs> oh, and I'm Otis Kelly. I'll leave the. Uh, I, I don't really have anything. Somebody else has to tell it, like Bill over there. Like the first night he came down here, he told about the blonde, you know, going to heaven. Now that was that was pretty good. One. All right, Bill's uh, the, the the Bob it said he's got to hit the road, so it's getting close to his bedtime. He has to lay down at nine. He lays his head down on the pillow at 9 o'clock. Hey, i got to teach Sunday school tomorrow. He's got to teach Sunday school, and it's a very good reason. So I'll just pick it a little bit. So go ahead and sing. Oh, what fellowship. Oh, what joy divine. Lean on the everlasting Lord. Oh, what blessings. Oh, what peace is mine.
just play anything. I'll just anything? Yeah, anything. And I was like, the bass or guitar. I might go to the other one. Pick out which one you put the bass. Since it's getting close to going home time, uh, John, he plays at church, and uh, he's going to play us, uh, name of it? Word of God Speaks. Word of God Speaks.
something uh, uh, out of it. We'll try it. Chopin's Farewell, Kia D.
one request because we're getting close to going home. Sing another, sing another song, John. Did y'all enjoy John's song? Yes. Woo, John. I think that means you sing another song. So, if you got another Christmas song or something you want to try to sing, we got to have somebody come up forward to sing it so we can play for you. <laughs> but, uh, John, sing us one more, and y'all think of something. Tell us as soon as we're done. You got anything else on your mind? Well, if you don't, I understand. See, that's one thing about this. There's not anything to feel. We're, we're not getting paid. So, I mean... <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, did you hear? You all better get a checkbook. Got it? There you go. <laughs> we're gonna know. We're gonna do this one because, as they said, uh, we know this one is about as well as the jingle bells. But gonna, Dan's gonna sing us some. coming come the next month january second saturday you'll have to look the date up i don't know which it is lord willing uh, everybody will be all right after the 22nd of december but uh first i'm sorry 21st 22nd when it ends it doesn't make any difference right <laughs> what's a day or so anyway lord's in control so we're not worried about that anyway y'all have a good night thank you Merry Christmas. And then we'll see y'all down the road. Response Bakes Hardware at Tennessee Ridge, Signature Healthcare here in Houston County Drug Alliance Tradition First Bank. I'd like to wish a Merry Christmas uh, from the staff of WCBN, Channel 12. <laughs>